Yep, her leg is fractured. We should get her to the hospital. My only medical training is to say, walk it off. Can you walk it off? Now. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna go fake use the phone in the dugout. Now what the hell got into you? Nothing, I was just trying to play hard, like Pete Rose. Look, I could even do the Pete Rose haircut. I bet you a thousand bucks I have a drinking problem. Guys, we gotta get that leg set. I guess I should ride in the ambulance. You think I'll be back in time for the game? What? You're not playing in the game. It's supposed to be a fun day out here, and you go nuts and break your wife's leg. It's not my fault. I'm all hopped up on hard baseball card gum. Mmm. Like eating a MasterCard. Let's get her out of here. And you, you're done. Clean up your luck. Kicked out? I'm totally screwed. Like those poor guys who had to come up with a new ad campaign for Subway. Hey, I'm Mike. I like sandwiches and people my own age. Subway, please don't think of pedophilia. You know what I'm getting sick of saying? My husband did this to me, but it's not what you think. Please forgive me, Lois. I'm so stupid. The reason I didn't bring my friends is because I didn't want them hogging the spotlight. And then when I saw everyone giving you all that attention, I guess I kind of lost it. You did a little. But of course I forgive you. I just don't understand why you went so crazy. Well, ever since I was little, I was always the fat, uncoordinated kid that nobody wanted on the team. And I was excited that for one weekend, if I could just step on that field and get a hit at Fenway Park, I could erase all that and be like a champ for the first time in my life. But I'm not a champ. I'm a fat loser. One that nobody ever picked me. I picked you, Peter. And to me and our kids, you will always be a winner. Thanks, Lois. And you know what? If that's true, I don't need to play in some stupid fantasy baseball game. Well, guess what? You're gonna play in that game and you're gonna get that hit. And when you do, we're all gonna be there to cheer you on. Really? Well, how's that gonna happen? Peter, these guys have been sexually harassing me since the second I got here. Either you play or every one of these Red Sox are going to jail. Even Ted Williams. Mm, new me. I think we're going to get along just fine. This is the number one fear of only being ahead. Ryan, do you always listen to the Sirius XM preview station? Yeah, I'm thinking about pulling the trigger, but they make you sign like a two-year... Guys, who cares about your dumb radio? We can't find Stewie anywhere. Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, honey. How you doing? How's Stewie? Oh, he's great. Not lost or anything. How's fantasy camp going? Uh, your father broke my leg out of jealousy, but that didn't ruin our honeymoon, and it's not going to ruin this. So listen... I want all you guys to drive up to Boston this afternoon to see your father play in the big game. Uh, wow, we'd love to. Mom, but we promised no Stewie no we'd here. perform oh, a puppet show for him later yeah. today. Oh, you can perform it for all of us up here in Boston. The game's in two hours. Drive safely. Crap. Now we gotta find Stewie and write a puppet show. We could repurpose my one-act farce, or we could write something fresh. Well, just because it's already been written doesn't mean it's not fresh. What did I just say? Shut up! We're in trouble! I'm in trouble! Hey, what's this? A dickweed convention? Stewie! Oh, thank God you're home! Where the hell have you been? As far away from her as possible! I forgot her name, honestly. Who, Meg? Yes, yes, 